Hello everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we will recap today's market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But first up, we briefly wanted to go over our last few profiles. We sent you a company on the 13th that had an average trade on the session of $1.18. We have updated our subscribers a few times on this one. Today it made another new high and tapped a dollar seventy eight with interest pouring in over the last week. That is a true fifty percent move off the average trade in just eight sessions. Today's profile, uh, Tuesday's profile, did not disappoint either. It opened up at $1.25 and exploded all the way to $1.64 today. That represents a 30% plus move off of yesterday's open. Also, last Wednesday's profile continues to trade just above four bu three bucks. We will keep an eye on this one. Look at your inbox for further updates. In terms of tomorrow, we have another exciting profile for our subscribers to research. This is another biopharma that closed up 12% today on very minimal interest. It was up even higher in the aftermarket. This one can really get going on some news. If you want our report on this company, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get all of our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And in the welcome email, you will get a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging services are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service whatsoever. No Discord rooms or Telegram chat rooms. Well, guys, last night I said I was getting more bullish on the markets. I expected Powell in his pref press conference to be dovish, and boy, was I wrong. Between him and Yellen, it is a clown show. We had a huge green to red reversal today. There was a hard rejection off the 50-day moving average. Jay Powell continues his hawkish stance that surprised even uh, myself. As I said, we filled uh, over the last few days, we filled every gap over the last month, intraday or within a few days. Today was no exception. Raising interest rates is not bullish. They asked Powell today in the press conference question, do you still see a soft landing? Powell said, well, we'll, we'll just have to see. I still believe the pathway exists and we are trying to find it. I mean, unreal. I mean, if they were trying to, to hurt the market, they're doing a great job. You know, in the final 30 minutes of today's session, stocks fell nearly uh, 2%. Here, if you look at the intraday ch uh, chart today of the SPY, here's QQQ. I mean, look at this. I mean, this is just the last 30 minutes. Our uh, stocks absolutely tank. Uh, this came, I mean, if you look here at the intraday, so you get the FOMC statement, Powell, uh, we considered a pause. He did say that. Hike supported by strong consensus. The deposit flow stabilized. So then you got this green can. We got a rally. And then Yellen, you know, 76-year-old in charge, as Zero Head uh, says, Yellen, not considering broad increase in deposit insurance. I mean, just absolutely unreal. Over $800 billion in market value was erased in a matter of minutes thanks to Yellen's comment. You know, right now, you know, it's all about confidence in markets. And if, the, 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 if that confidence is not there in the system, uh, you know, the, the markets are just going to drop. The banking crisis could have been resolved two weeks ago. When regulators seized Silicon Valley Bank, all they had to do was say one thing. All deposits in the U.S. will be temporarily insured. Instead, they have tried many other solutions which, which have failed. A full backstop restores the system. We just had a collapse of the regional banking system and Credit Suisse acquired for pennies on the dollar. Meanwhile, we've had the Fed raise rates, the Fed say more rate hikes can come, 
And uh, Yellen said FDIC bank backing on all deposits in is not likely. This is not the way to restore confidence. I think I could ask, uh, you know, my two-year-old son and he can uh, get, articulate better than uh, these idiots. Uh, in his in his uh, press conference, I mean, it was just a it was just a total clown show today. Uh, I can't, I'm speechless in, in describing it in any other terms. Uh, Fed Powell, he said in his press conference, some additional rate hikes may be needed. And then he quickly corrected himself and said, some policy firming may be needed. Uh, this came right after Powell said the Fed did consider pausing rate hikes. So he says one thing that's positive and then another thing negative. And right now, the Fed baseline expectations show zero. That's zero interest rate cuts this year. Meanwhile, uh, Fed fund futures see a 100 basis point uh, in uh, 100 basis points in rate cuts by December. This would mean a total of four interest rate cuts beginning in June at 25 basis points uh, each. Uh, this is the biggest Fed to market disconnect of all time. Uh, current Fed futures are showing a 50% chance of another 25 basis point uh, rate hike in May. When Powell was asked if he will rule out more rate hikes, he said, no, absolutely not. The Fed does not want to confirm a pivot. If Jay had gone straight to the pivot, this would have never happened, meaning this last uh, uh this, this uh, pullback here at the end of the day. And then if you look right now, a lot of people have been climbing into crypto and gold. But, you know, right now, crypto, uh, the SEC uh, is, has issued a Wells notice against Coinbase. Uh, that means that uh, charges are likely. The stock uh, is down 15% uh, after the bell. It says here, SEC staff made a preliminary determination to recommend that the agency file an enforcement action against Coinbase, alleging violations of securities laws, including those related to newly issued and actively traded securities. However, the exchange said the regular did not specify the potential charges. Coinbase believes that these would relate to its exchange, staking service, uh, Coinbase Earn, Coinbase Prime, and Coinbase Wallet. The potential civil action may seek injunctive relief, disgorgement, and civil penalties. Uh, we are confident in the legality of our assets and services, and if needed, we welcome a legal process to provide the clarity we've been advocating for and to demonstrate the SEC simply has not been fair or reasonable when it comes to its engagement on digital assets, the exchange uh, said in a blog post. Rest assured, Coinbase products and services continue to operate as usual. The exchange said the notice follows multiple proposals it sent to the SEC about registration, all of which the SEC ultimately, ultimately refused to respond to. We asked the SEC specifically to identify which assets on our platforms they believe may be secures and they declined to do so, said the company. And, you know, right now it's just uh, you know, a crisis of confidence. And, you know, if you've, you do not restore confidence in the system, you have just these, these absolute, uh, uh, insane moves. Uh, you know, for me, I know a lot of people are, are piling into Bitcoin and gold. Um, you know, I know for me, I'm hanging out in treasuries right now. Uh, you know, I'm in the short duration, uh, you know, one year and under, uh, this one here, Oh, this is the, the 15 minute chart. You go over here to the one day chart and then you can see these are this is the one year treasury uh, notes, the yield. Uh, you know, you can still get 4.35%. Uh, you know, I know there is the concern about the debt ceiling and if there will be a default, but you know, with the US government, you know, you will get your money. So again, it's the US government uh, in terms of treasury bonds and, you know, yelling, she just needs to, uh, you know, if she came out and said all deposits are insured, there would be uh, confidence in the system. So right now, you know, you got people piling into money markets and treasuries. So again, uh, that's a safe place to hide out. And that's where I am. Again, none of this is, is financial advice. And then today I talked last night about GameStop. 
Uh, for those of you that were not already in it, I mean, I've been talking about it all week. I said earnings were coming, uh, and it, history has proven that GameStop beat uh, on the earnings expectations, and they did. They delivered a surprise profit. But if you were not already in and you were waiting for the, you know, the, the earnings to hit, if you can't trade pre-market or after hours, if, if you want to trade pre-market or after hours, click the link in the description. There is a link, referral link for Weeble. You sign up, deposit $100, you get up to 12 free stocks. But here, if you, I've been talking, you know, I, I go over this uh, on the videos and also in our ebook, the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks, I talk about the opening range. And today we had the opening range on, uh, um, GameStop opened at 26.55, got as high as 27, and then immediately sold off. So it was just a chop all day. It never broke above this opening range. So it basically kept you out of the market. It showed you the support and the resistance. You could have bought off the 23 level and made some money. So again, this is how I trade. Uh, I, I never go in right at the market, right at the open. I like to let the market settle in. You do miss some trades, but it, it for me, I would rather miss a trade uh, uh, and focus on on keep staying out of bad trades. I'm more concerned about my losers than I am my winners. So again, I'm all about um, looking for the highest probability setups, and I'm all also about looking uh, about also not losing money. So again, uh, as Warren Buffett says, uh, first rule of trading is don't lose money. Second rule is uh, look at rule number one. So again, this is what I do, uh, not financial advice. And guys, don't forget, we have a special report for subscribers. We've been delivering uh, bangers for our subscribers. The only way to get our reports is by signing up. Uh, you can even sign up and unsubscribe just to see the level of research we do here at insiderfinancial.com. And finally, Insider Financial and myself are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your own research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is not a solicitation or recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. This video is our opinion, is meant for informational educational purposes only, and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Also, smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Good luck, guys. Bye-bye.